Oh man, the Steam Winter Sale's finally here. So many great deals to look at. Oh, I can't wait to see what I can get. You know, I've actually been thinking about getting a few games. I have some money to spend this year. And I... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh man. You guys do know this has to happen, right? I have to do this. But unfortunately, we're not going to talk about that today. I'm going to save it for later. You know, when it gets close to the end of the year, a lot of people like to um, look back and do a recap of the year, you know, reflect on everything they've done, all their accomplishments. Unfortunately, I can't do that. So I have to do something else. I actually bought a few games this year. Now, I don't normally do that. I don't normally do anything throughout the year. But this year I was extremely active doing, not physically active, but you know, active um, playing games, keeping up with current events and all that shit. And you know what? I thought, what's the most original thing that anyone could do? So I decided I'm going to go ahead and do the top whatever number I come up with games I played this year, starting with number the one I like the least. I should also mention mods count, but not that mod. Sorry, not that mod, not yet. Again, the number I like the least. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, I bought into the hype. I liked the first one. Second and third one were okay too. I played the open beta. I may or may not have dropped a Ben Franklin on this game. And I also may or may not regret doing so but i guess at this point it's a bit too late to regret that decision now you may be asking yourself how was the game when it comes to the single player campaign let me put it like this i could go back and play advanced warfare i could play ghosts i could play infinite warfare i could play black ops 3 i could play black ops 4's sorry excuse for a single player mode and have a better time i'd have more fun i'd probably laugh a few times i'd probably be gripped by the story and the characters so much more than i would playing this campaign modern warfare 2019's campaign is a drop in the bucket unbelievably unoriginal and unfun if you want a good gripping story about modern war but you also want it to look nice play modern warfare remastered if you want the fun characters and overall charm, play Modern Warfare 2 and 3. This game did not need to exist. There's more problems about the single player campaign, but I can't talk about them right now. Maybe you bought it for the multiplayer. Well, when it comes to the multiplayer, it's like an abusive relationship. You play it and you don't like it and you leave, but something about it just brings you back. That's this game's multiplayer. I'll have a couple good matches and then I'll be shit on. One match after the other for no reason. And according to some people, that's the skill-based matchmaking that for some reason is really broken and does not work. <laughs> Who expected that? It just gets to the point where I just want to stop. And I'll, I'll stay away from the game for a couple weeks and I'll be like, I wonder how much has changed. Then I'll open the game again. Not much has changed but I'll keep coming back to see what new things it has in store. It seemed like the new maps and gameplay systems just didn't work well together. And that's what a lot of people had to say when the game first came out. Infinity Ward said they wanted to cater to new players. There are no new players of this game. Maps that were added from COD 4 had little tweaks and changes to them. And none are more prevalent than in shipment. Shipment's layout has actually been changed, and because of it, the new spawns that have been changed around have resulted in spawn killing, which for some reason has never actually been a problem on Shipment. Back in the day on Shipment, at least when I played, I didn't actually see people spawn right in front of me. Now that's just commonplace. Modern Warfare gets a least favorite out of 10. Moving on, the game that I didn't like the least, but I didn't 
like the best. Before I continue, I want to specify, it doesn't matter if the game came out this year. It could have came out 10 years ago. It just matters that I bought it and played it this year. I'm making up these rules as we go along, guys. With that being said, you may be surprised what the next game in the list is. Call of Duty World War II. Oh yeah. When the game came out, I watched a playthrough and I looked at some reviews and the major consensus was that it was bad. And uh, I just believed them because I kind of saw the downfall. Um, the first game I played was Black Ops 2. And then the second one I played was Ghost. And there's a fucking car outside. The first COD game I ever played was Black Ops 2. And I loved it. And I loved it so much that I bought the next one, Ghosts, and I thought, um, it's, it's cool too, it's okay, I mean, it's, it's alright. The car is back, oh my god. Long story short, after Ghost, instead of buying the next game, I went back and I started spending my money on the older games, and I missed out on a few years, and I missed out on 2017's World War II, and I was a little excited for Black Ops 4, okay? Can you blame me? I was a kid back then. I was stupid, okay? And so a couple weeks after the game came out, I got Black Ops 4 and... Oh, it was... It was not... It was bad, okay? It was not good. It was bad. But we're not talking about that game. That game's not on this list. I got that last year. What we're here to talk about is World War II. So the game was on sale on Steam and I... I jumped on the opportunity, and I bought it alongside a couple other COD games, um, I can't remember, I, I can't honest, I kind of can't remember if it was Modern Warfare 2 or 3, but it was one of those, and that was the first time I actually got to play the game, and to be honest, it, it, it was pretty okay, I, I mean, it wasn't the best game in the world, and it wasn't terrible, but single player wise, it was about mediocre. The game takes place between D-Day June 6, 1944 to the crossing of the Rhine on May of the following year. Ground that has been treaded so much, they've paved a road over it. And the story, don't get me wrong, this game is about as generic bargain bin World War II as you can get with the polish of a AAA developer. And it is extremely, for a lack of a better word, <laughs> patriotic. <laughs> but it, it just has the charm of World War II and I... I, I like World War II games, and this one's okay, and it does help that it is one of the only World War II games to have a concentration camp in it, which is, um, I mean, I don't like them, but at least they're there to make the Germans look very bad. I mean, they don't outright say it's a concentration camp, but it, it is. When it comes to the multiplayer, I played every map at least once, and uh, every one of them is terrible. They all look nice, have good themes, interesting locations, but they're just, they're not fun to play on, except for one of them. And that map is Shipment 1944, a map that has been polished to a degree that is unimaginable. That is one of the most balanced maps in a video game ever apart from dust 2. i just can't believe how balanced this map is it's better balanced than it is in mwr at the end of every match you play on this map it just seems like you've had a fair game you tried your best and whether you win or lose you know that it was a fair game and because of shipment 1944 and the fact that it's world war ii this is not my least liked game but not my most liked game it's, it's somewhere in between but don't worry, because we're moving on to the next one. The one I liked a bit more than this one, but not as much as my most liked game. And this game is... I... Forgot. Let me just check real quick. <laughs> American Truck Simulator. What can I say? I like America, and I like driving trucks. This game gets a... I like it. Okay, now let's move on to the game I actually remembered was next. This game actually took me by surprise. Hex Cells. A crazy, awesome, and all around fun puzzle game about hex cells it's a sort of modern take on minesweeper except instead of being uh, generally unfair uh, this game is actually 
very intuitive. The puzzles get progressively complex as you play, and I had a lot of fun playing it. It was a great refresher after playing the same games over and over and over again, just because I was really bored. So this game gets a best puzzle game of the year for me. I mean, it came out a few years ago, but you get it. I played it this year. But the number one best game I played this year has to be, without a doubt, Black Mesa. This is the only reason I said mods count, because this one is still technically a mod. Black Mesa is a recreation of Half-Life 1 within the Source Engine, a game that has been in development for over 15 years and is technically still in development. It's amazing that we even got to this point. It looks nothing like it did when it was first released publicly and even now it's gone through so many iterations. And finally, we get the Zen chapters. Me, being the lucky son of a bitch I was, bought the game days before the Zen chapters were released. I did not know that was going to happen, but I'm glad that I bought the game when I did, because I got through the game, they released the Zen chapters, and I played them, and I gotta say, this game gets a 10 out of 10, best game ever made, and I may have a tainted opinion, because I loved Half-Life, and I loved Half-Life 2, and I'm gonna love Half-Life Alex. but playing this game and remembering Half-Life 1 and seeing all these locations brought up to modern standards and seeing the Zen chapters and thinking, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No game that has came out ever will be able to trump what Zen in Black Mesa is. And if you have not played it, any all 15 of you out there watching this video, if you have not played this game, I recommend you do, because this is one of the best games I've ever played, at least this year. I'm gonna let the gameplay speak for itself. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. So here we are, at the end of the year. Christmas is over and the next decade is right around the corner. I started making videos during the summer in 2018 and I do this stuff in my spare time. I enjoy making videos. I may suck at it terribly, but, but I like it. It's a lot of fun. It just prepares me for being a douche online. And I do this all in my spare time. I just wish that I could have done more this year. This year was pretty uneventful. But don't worry, I've cleared my schedule. My cat is no longer sick. Next year is gonna be a great one. 
I think. I'm getting a new microphone at some point. And uh, that's about it. Get out of my house. <laughs>